Oh, hello everybody. Welcome to another ride along with goggles. And, uh, oh, do I have it mixed up? Uh, oh, it's a bison all the way, I guess. Okay. Got her set up as a Chevy bison. And uh, it's the um, ATS Custom Classics. No, this is Salonix. Sorry. Sorry, Salonix. <laughs> this is his uh, uh, Chevy bison slash GMC General. And um, we did a couple trips up in Alaska with the, the version with the mid-rise cab or uh, sleeper and at that time that's all I'd done and it wasn't even really finished it was just lucky it had the fairings on the back of the sleeper that kind of disguised the fact that the stripes weren't lined up and uh, so I've finished uh, it works on all four cabs so, yep all four so day cab this sleeper and the two bigger sleepers and the biggest sleeper is a different um, if you go to select that and you already have this paint job on you lose this paint job and you have to go select the uh, it's called the able body sleeper and uh, it's real tall <laughs> so that's how you get that so just be aware that uh, that happens but it's an interesting thing well let's we'll chat along the way it's not a real long drive so we're going to take our time and enjoy the scenery because we're going on that really nice ride through northern Washington up to Glacier which is a map add-on and uh, we're going to go right by our shop, which is down the hill from that logging site at uh, Bellingham, up the mountain there at uh, Mount Baker. So it should be a pretty cool trip. Like I say, not real long, but going to be good. And of course, the old uh, General Slash Bison's got to have an AP-92 in it. And uh, yeah, I haven't hauled this combine in. I've only hauled it once. That was with uh, friend Grant in a convoy. And uh, so it's been meaning to do this again. So let's get the beacons on. Brakes off. Have a little look that the beacons are working. Got some back here. All right, everything looks in order. She's all tied down. Let's go. I never came in this other way before to this site. I've always followed the, dis the directions and come in the way we're going. But you can come in that way from the, from the highway. Probably makes more sense than going this way. <laughs> but we're heading up through that mountain, mountain range there. Really nice trip. I haven't very often gone westbound. It always seems to come east out of there, so it's going to be nice too. Yeah, so this skin, hopefully by the time you're seeing this video, this skin will be up on, uh, on Steam. Interesting thing about this truck, you can put right wheel drive in it. So I imagine this thing works in. I imagine this thing works in ETS.
Yeah, we're going to, uh, it's going to be an interesting route into the uh, town of Glacier. It's, uh, if you've ever been up that mountain in Bellingham, off of this highway, you, you hang out north, and there's a dirt road that goes up Go the mountain. Straight. But we're going to take the first part of that dirt road. And with this uh, map add-on, it uh, adds access to a glacier via that uh, that road. Kind of cool. So I picked this load up uh, with Truckee because I just wasn't getting what I wanted with this combine. I wanted to cut the length down a little bit. These videos are getting a little long. And uh, take the urgency out of it with uh, just a regular delivery. So we don't need to go, you know, hog wild trying to get there. So this is a nice climb up this mountain here coming up. Usually you're coming down here at a rate of knots with the Jake brake on. <laughs> Trying to keep it on the road. This thing has no Jake brake so we're a lot better off going up. time we're in this truck the tack wasn't accurate and now it seems to be accurate which is really weird speedometer's off a little bit but tack is dead on oh no wait a minute that was Corey's truck the uh, Mac yeah, the AT, uh, ATS Custom Classics Mac and it's uh, GMC Astro. They're having issues. So this one, the speedo reached just a little bit quick, a few miles an hour, but the, uh, the tack is fine. Actually, we could use Jake down this hill, but we'll just start off slow. That ah, beautiful water. This looks so good. In case you didn't know, it's the minerals that uh, wash down off the mountain, the rock that uh, create that color. The lakes are there and streams generally aren't like that in the spring, but they sure are in the midsummer and fall. So the runoff uh, really roils the water up, brings a lot of sediment down. So, uh, yeah, big news on the recon front. Uh, he 
he's got some uh, more cool projects are coming our way and um, maybe this weekend we'll get a sneak peek maybe for Sunday morning or Monday morning's video a little look at uh, what's coming and uh, not even gonna ask you to guess because you'll never get it <laughs> it's cool after 100 yards turn left that's so nice eh turn left town so he's mowing the grass so we'll be turning off uh, up this uh, mining road here or uh, forestry road Turn right. Nobody's well, coming here because we're going to need a little bit of that lane. Turn right. Let's see if we can avoid knocking over this stop sign. And we get her in. like a curious place to take a combine. <laughs> So if we stayed off to the right, we go up the mountain to the logging site. And this is new with this uh, uh, Bellingham map improvement hat on. This thing's been out for a long time. I've been running it for a long time too. On various profiles. Waterfall, if we can.
think that road's on the map. Oh, it is. Huh. Mosquito Lake Road. We're gonna go right by our. Uh, so when you buy, when you get this uh, map mod, it gives you a, um, a a home garage here as well. And we're gonna go buy it up here once we get on the pavement. I think right where we get on the pavement, it'll uh, it'll be a home garage. truck though this uh, Brigadier now well, I checked it out for I was gonna put on the lifted chassis they came it's got a uh, tall version but uh, it uh, only works on the short 4x4 this is the long 4x4 so the short one's pretty stubby but I mean I'm not thinking I'm gonna try it in ETS just get the short Base and uh, go with the day cab and plus some fun in ETS with it too. There's our home garage up there. City limit, welcome. There's jobs in here. There's, well, look at, there's a Walmart, there's a HMS machinery, our home garage. Oh look, I got the, uh, I've got the uh, GMC Logistics uh, mod in here. Does it ever make your home garage a busy place? Look at all that. It's all full of trucks inside. GMC Logistics are the guys who monitor all the map making, uh, map makers and proof their maps. And, like they look at uh, recon stuff to make sure it's all good and there's no, you know, they look for terrain gaps and all this sort of stuff. And then they figure out how the mod orders are going to work and they publish the mod orders for all the map combos. And uh, that's Marion's work there, I guess, the garage. They're good dudes, man. They put a lot of effort in to keeping everything working. Without, it, without them, it'd be chaos. Like, can you imagine if it was just a free-for-all and nobody knew what to do and where to put a map? Because all you got to do, get one map mod out of order or even file within a map mod stack and the thing doesn't run. And it crashes to the desktop. So these are the guys who are working away in the background to keep it all working for us. So they deserve a big thanks for all that. And the mountain, the logging site's up that away, up the mountain there. And you can also get to uh, Bellingham this way. I got the GMC steering wheel in it still. Don't. After 100 yards, turn right. Scotty will be happy to see him. I've got the Chevy version of the truck going though. The Chevy man. Uh, who wouldn't be if you had a Camaro like he has? Holy. Turn right. Guy's got a, a pretty stout car. He did that flying, that Texas Mile thing or whatever. I can't remember where he went, but. It was quick, like fast, real fast. Hold on to your hair and roll your teeth down fast.
across the rotary. First exit. That's a pretty tight little rotary for uh, this outfit. Exit so ahead. Glad we're turning off there. This is hard parking, so I wonder, well, I guess they, here, you gotta thread it into there. How long are we? I think I'm gonna go straight at it, straight in the yard. I think there's harder places to park here, but we'll find out before I get too bold with that prediction. I messed this all up already or not. I guess the thing's pretty wide. So I guess that's going to be the challenge. Oh yeah, we're going to have to be doing a pull-up for sure. Run into that forklift there. Curious place to drop off a combine, but uh, hey, maybe these guys got a best repair rate for hundreds of miles around. It <laughs> could be it. Who knows? Lights are off. Somebody's mowing the lawn here, too. Dang. Well, that was a fun little drive. Really nice scenery and one road we don't go on a whole lot. and. Uh, took Trucky to do it, but uh, that was fun. Man, we used a lot of fuel. That long uphill climb there. <laughs> Gobbler. And these uh, AP-92s, so they're not, they're not uh, economical by any stretch. Well, being a two-stroke, you imagine they fire twice as often as any other. As a four-stroke, obviously, so. But it's a, it's a nice truck. I, I, I really like it. I think the game needs more of this kind of stuff. These old classics, and, and like I say, this one's kind of cool because it's got the variations. Oh, you know what I do? Yeah, you know, this is a quick video. Let's have a quick look. 
what we'll do, I'll just show you the different caps real fast. Let's just go into vehicle browser. Hopefully it's in here, it should be. Oh. What? I guess it's not in here. Okay, well, we'll just more than one way to skin a cat. Truck dealer, mod, GMC truck. Oh, that's the Astro from the other fellas. Uh, SCS Custom Classics or ATS. So what we could do, so this is the day cap, so we could throw on this paint job. Uh, it's this one. Throw the paint on her. So we got a day cap, kind of cool. And then I'll show you that chassis option. So six by four, and then you can lift it. And I think there's a, if I'm not mistaken, there may be a logging rack. Oh, that's the exhaust. Oh, maybe there isn't. I don't know. Maybe I was just dreaming that and thinking it would make such a good uh, logging truck with this lifted chassis. But I guess you could go anyway. Just put a, a rack in the front of your trailer. And so this is the Chevy grill. And uh, you can change it to GMC style. Or a grate. I don't know what that one is. I've never seen that on the road. But this is a typical Chevy. And that's sort of typical GMC. Chevy, GMC, different versions. And you can change the logo. GMC, or if you want the... Uh, uh, oh, what do we got? Double 92. Oh, I didn't realize we had that. Okay, cool. And uh, there's some place or other. Oh, if we change that, that's where we get Chevy? Yeah, Bison General. And so let's look at the other chassis. So there's no 6x2, which would be kind of cool for... This is as short as you're going to get for AT ETS if you want it in there. I'm going to test that out. So 6x4 paint. Let's go... Paint high. There's a long one there. So there's the long chassis. And that's the one we're driving. And then we go with the cab options. So this is day cab. And we're, and you got, oh, steering on the right. <laughs> Yahoo. <laughs> this is the day cab plus sleeper. So this is the one we were just driving. Sitting on there. Um, you can have that with the steering wheel over here. Or you could do, what's the other one? You got this version, day cab with the setback axle. And then you got, uh, this is the sleeper that we had up in Alaska, I believe. When we were up there, we were driving that one. And then you can have that with uh, steering on the right or the left. Here's, now this is the able body one. This is the biggie so when you get here you gotta change the paint job go in here grab that paint her up and that's quite a different sleeper altogether I don't know if it has fairings does it maybe doesn't look like it's gonna no just exhaust options so that's uh, just a little quick rundown of the truck personally I kind of like the uh, this one, the one we were driving, it's just tidy, tidy little truck, good old GMC or Chevrolet, anyway, oh, there you go, that's the, uh, that's the uh, little fella in a nutshell, oh, come on, let's get out of here. Man, uh, for us who are winter bound and snow outside and snowing today, sound of a lawnmower is actually kind of welcome. <laughs> it sounds good. Anyway, thanks for following along, guys, as always, and uh, really appreciate it. And uh, take care. We'll catch you on the next one, and bye for now.